Hey Ted here, today we're taking a look at technical analysis for Bitcoin with Elliott Wave Theory. On today's video we're going to be focusing more on the smaller time frame structures but again checking out the counts from these lows or at least the uh, starting point of 10th of November. Again we have had quite a few different options for this whole range as uh, all of them are very three-way structure-ish. There is one count that is saying that we had a structure ending at these lows where we would have this as a, some kind of triangle here and that is still valid. In that one, we would be expecting, uh, don't mind the ABC count that I've laid out here, just uh, look at the subway structure, where we have this as a way one, two, three, four, five. So we do have a potential five-way structure here from these lows. And again, if a count on higher time frame has potential of ending here, we definitely need to be looking into the possibilities of looking to play the long game here uh, once we get enough of a retracement. Uh, for that general retracement, we are looking for this order block here. We have a couple of different options here. At the point 0.5, we have this structure here, and the golden pocket has this one. So two um, fairly decent looking, um, I'll just use one over here, decent looking order blocks here. And if we are looking at non with stuff, we can see that we have a daily right around there as well uh, with this lower order block. So that is giving us more confidence. There is a weekly just below or between these both, but we'll see if that is going to be holding at all. Uh, there has been some uh, structures already hit it, uh, and we have seen that it is respected somewhat. Um, and I feel like this is more of a zone um, here, this weekly level. So yeah, definitely a interesting level as well. Um, what else did we have? Let's put it back to local. Uh, we had a few different ideas here overall, saying that we could have this as a three-way structure. And then we would be looking for some kind of sideways correction here to give a partner leg upwards. Um, again, if we are labeling it like that, this would be an ABC instead of a five-way structure, which would end here. Um, and at that point, we would most likely have this as some kind of three-way structure. Now, it is possible that this is already done. And according to time, we have completed it in time. I use the 32 extension here as the minimum time I um, I need, basically, to establish somewhat of, somewhat of a right look in these charts. So um, we can see that these lows here especially have already been hit. Um, so that is something that we don't need to be worrying at this moment. So there is, oops, there is definitely a possible where this is three waves, this is three waves. And now the question is whether are we going to be creating a, another structure from these lows higher to create some kind of pattern leg possibly for this one over here, or whether we are going to be creating a connector wave here in the middle, connecting this structure over to the next here and trying to get us to these lower levels where we had some targets. So that is the question that we need to be trying to answer. Um, another interesting thing to me uh, is that this structure here is still on the table and don't seem to be having a partner leg. Again, that is only if we don't play the game or play the count where we have this as the low. If we have this as a low, um, this would be some kind of a three-way structure where we had it, something like that ending at these lows. Again, the extensions do work out. We don't get to the one point one to one extension, but we did hit the uh, uh, pretty much the 618. I think, uh, let's see, did we not? Mm. Oh yeah, it was here. Because uh, this was three, three. Huh, no, it wasn't. Has it always been like this? <laughs> that we did not hit the 0.618? Might have been. That is odd. If we did not, didn't hit it, it reduces the significance or the uh, possibilities or probabilities quite significantly for me. So, hmm, I need to be taking a look at that for tomorrow's video. I'll just add this out, look at this. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at more of the more local structures here to see if, well, if we have some kind of uh, structures or some kind of place that we can be making. 
Uh, let's start with five minutes. So here was the potential third, fourth, uh, where we had a one, two, three, four, oh, sorry, A, B, C, D, E um, as a triangle, and then five here. Um, so that was one possibility. Uh, the other one was that we had a three wave structure here, a three wave here, and then three wave here down into these lows. We did not hit the one to one extension of this ABC here. Uh, we hit the 1.236 extension of this wave W here, pivoted from here for that wave Y. So again, that is one of the targets. Um, nothing else there really. Again, if we are starting the counts from here or ending the counts from here or to here with that fifth wave, we would um, have this as just a three way structure. Again, getting to the 0.618 um, minimum target hit, nothing really fancy about that. Not really good of a target. Um, we did not even hit the one to one. Mm, yeah, I was previously we were expecting this to be turning out into a wave four and then one more low here to get us divergence. That never happened. And I think we have to be accepting that this was the wave four and I'm not going to even try to cut, uh, count this here. Um, but yeah, ABC, I think it is finished. This very sideways structure here is something new. So if we are looking at smaller time frame, looking at this here, we have again, a lot of overlapping structures, a lot of options, what this whole thing can be, unfortunately. So we'll see what comes out of it. At the moment, what I do see is that this could be a three-way structure into these highs, and that would be ending the count up in here. Um, then we have a few different options. One of them was that we had this as three waves, and then we would have three. Oh, sorry, how did I label this? Was it three, three, and three? So this would be another three, creating this. And then we would be looking for a partner leg for this structure and this fits very well here. So we would have this as a three-way structure. Overall, we would do have something like that. Um, now, however, as we have created a new low here, we have to readjust this. Um, this definitely has the potential of having a uh, some kind of triangle here. We have somewhat of a contracting look here uh, on price. It is not very best, um, not too good looking. I think if I mean I had it, a bit more decent, uh, something like this. Um, somewhat of a triangle look, not the best though, but again, valid. This would give us the confluence of having this as a one-to-one uh, -one hit here for that C wave of A wave. Um, but that gives us the issue where we would have to say that this here would be again partnered with this here. So again, it would be kind of out of proportion. Um, so I'm not quite sure which which one of these um, I should be accepting the best. Um, I think, again, we can't see this low here on RSI because again, it was a weak. So maybe, maybe I just have to accept that we have it like this. Not the perfect look by any means. Uh, some kind of WXY for sure. Let's see what kind of extension we're getting. Not even too bad, 1.382 here. If we, if we had gone beyond the 1.618, then I don't think that would have been that likely. A small extension here on way Y, where we would have this a bit larger structure on the way B is, I feel like it is okay. Um, and after the wave C lows here, uh, the next structure would be something to give a partner like basically for this one here. So we would be creating this kind of structure here, something like that. Um, so overall, let's take some targets here. Uh, let me delete that for now so I can actually see what I'm doing. So here, one to one around 16.94K um, would be some of the targets here. At the moment, we had a massive pump here from the lows around 1% in less than, what is that? 20 minutes, in less than 20 minutes. So that is pretty decent. Um, and then we had a pullback here. Looks like a three-way structure, but so does this three-way structure here as well. Look, or this structure here looks like a three-way structure as well. Uh, at the moment, I do feel like these could be linked together and we would be getting one more low here. Um, that gives us the possibility of going long here. I already had a long around here 
uh, just above the 0.5 as my entry. There is a pot potential that we are creating something like this, taking out this low and taking out uh, the stop losses basically that people had here if they wanted to go long, especially on, on this low here. Uh, so that is something that we need to be watching as well because again, this definitely feels like a three way move here. Um, but yeah, 16.9K is valid target. If we just pivot from now on these lows, uh, one to one target would be pretty much spot on with that one. If we take out a bit lower uh, into the golden pocket or just swing failure pattern these current lows, that would be pretty much sitting right at the one to one. Uh, we do have some confluence up in here as well. Um, but yeah, that is that. Nothing really else I see at the moment, but I think this is the play that I'm going to be looking at now, uh, looking for this long. I haven't checked S&P 500 today, but I'm still going to be playing this regardless. Um, I don't need confluence for that, I don't think, because I, I, I'm not quite sure which this could be related if it is not something new. Um, it's pretty decent V cut here, um, and then looking for that partner leg. We have some uh, some targets here. If you are looking a bit higher time frame, let's see. We have some order blocks here uh, that we could be targeting around the seventeen uh, k area. Not quite sure if the if this extension is going to get us that far. Um, the expectation here again was that this was a three way structure, and because we did not hit the ninety percent retracement here. The expectation here is again a three-way move and not a five-way move. If we had come down a bit lower, say 16.6k or 67k, um, then we could have been looking for a five-way move. At that point, again, we would definitely have better results of or better probabilities of going higher here to create this um, this larger larger structure in here. But I, I do think that this kind of structure is something that we definitely can expect. Now. Uh, depending on again the higher time frame view, if we start the count from here, we could be pairing up this structure over to the next and doing something like that. Um, and of course, depending on how how high and where it goes, uh, we could be looking at some of these targets here. Both of them are really fine, and depending on where we're going to be pivoting here, we could be playing at least this second structure, unless you want to be taking more risks and uh, looking for short setups here like i'm going to do but i think that is going to be doing it uh, for this video um, i think i got the game plan set and we'll see if the price <laughs> price action is going to be following that and if it does then i'm definitely going to be um, uh, shorting somewhere here around the 17k area but i think that is going to do it for now if you made this far into the video i would appreciate the likes link to my previous discord server in the description below and for now i thank you for watching and hope you have an amazing rest of your day see you next video bye bye